In case you have ever wondered how our new bathroom is gonna look, well, this video is for you, because it's gonna look like this exactly. And for whatever reason you might wanna know this, well, in this video, you're going to find out how it's gonna be laid out, what is all about it, and uh, where we got there. So, let's talk about, first of all, the, the most important things. Why do we get a new bathroom? And why do I build this in Prehistoric Kingdom? Well, two questions I'm gonna ask, uh, answer in a couple minutes. Let's start with the first of the two. Um, to the why, it's pretty simple because um, we bought a house and uh, since today, the, the very day, we are officially owners of the house. Um, obviously, a couple of financial things have to be done, but um, today is the day where the official contract is uh, uh, going to start. And uh, we're going to move in about two months and the bathroom is one of the things that I had to plan to, you know, calculate all the materials and stuff like that. And so this speed build is quite a couple months old. Um, I did this already in uh, October, I guess. Um, so it's not in the newest version of Prehistoric Kingdom, but we are going to check out the newest version at the end of the video. It's going to be like a longer video. Uh, so this is why. Also, by the way, if you're interested into more things about the house, our move and what kind of influence that has for the channel, stick with me throughout the entire voiceover because I'm going to talk about that after answering your second question, if you had this question anyways. But, um, you know, I said you will have this question. So here's the answer to the question you may never have asked. But why am I doing this in Prehistoric Kingdom? Well, it is uh, pretty obvious that Prehistoric Kingdom has a um, feature that is um, actually the, the core reason why I did this, and this is the scaling feature. Now, obviously, I could have built all of this in Planet Zoo, for example, as well, or even Planet Coaster. Uh, Planet Coaster might have been even more easy because of all the prefabs that we got from the uh, UGC pieces, but... Um, uh, UGC pieces, that's what I wanted to say, but um, the, the reason why I didn't do that is obviously the lighting engine is not as good in uh, Planet Coaster anymore and also you can't scale objects and especially because this is all built exactly to scale um, in order to measure, you know, in order to measure, in order to see how exactly how much I need it. So it's not a visual process things might look a little bit different in real life it was really a lot more about the sizes if they work and um, how much space we actually have in the room because you have to imagine we bought the house and the, the house is fully stuffed you know there is a bathroom in there there's a kitchen in there there's all the stuff is in there um, and has to be removed now but uh, we had to act already a lot more early so this is why um, I needed to plan this somehow and I'm kind of the person who does it in games rather than 3D software, simply because I'm a lot, a lot, like a lot faster. Um, if I would have done that in 3D Max or in uh, Blender, for example, it would have taken me 10 to 20 hours uh, to build like, I don't know, one sink or so. However, obviously it, it would all be a lot better because I could do everything inch perfect and uh, lighting perfectly fine and I could even upload the texture of um, you know um, of the actual tiles and stuff but it's not as important you know it's for me the planning was more important than the actuality of or like the um, the precision of the textures and stuff and so this is why I decided um, for Prehistoric Kingdom. Um, one thing that I would have loved to have is billboards, obviously. The billboards we have from uh, Planet Zoo, for example, would have come in super handy in order to use the actual textures as well. But since they're also not scalable, it's just half, like half of the fun. Um, that's the reason why I built in here. So it's, it's really, if you look at it um, as a the toolbox uh, this game offered me the most things uh for the best value i want to say um so this is um this is something i really wanted to uh talk about because i think this is one of the biggest trends of uh, prehistoric kingdom i know some people like to put like dinosaurs in this game I'm not sure why but <laughs> i'm just joking by the way but it's still super interesting to see uh, what you can do with the game and uh, what this game is capable of and i bet that the devs also look at these type of builds and maybe they're you know uh, just trying to avoid ripping off the house or whatever but um you know that's what i do with the game um one thing i have to say really props to the devs because I remember when I left the file like a couple months ago um, untouched uh, I had already quite some frame drops because I'm using a trillion a bazillion amounts of pieces here for the smallest things available sometimes uh, so that's why um, it was a little bit jiggery to play not gonna lie however 
not sure what they did, but the performance is super good again after the update 1.1. So it's really enjoyable. Um, a lot of the lighting has not changed, but is a lot more stable now. The whole system feels more stable. The building feels more stable. The gizmo feels more stable. Just in general, it just feels a lot more fleshed out. Um, so that is a very good sign that they are not only optimizing in terms of bringing in more content, but also optimizing the existing stuff, which again, this project is a brilliant showcase for. Not sure if I'm going to finish off the entire house. Um, maybe I'm going to do certain just kind of walkthroughs later on. I'm not sure, but uh, I will most definitely do the living room uh, very shortly because we have to. Uh, and I'm also most certainly doing my streaming room, the new one, very shortly. So if you're in for that stuff, make sure to subscribe also for that. In case you don't want to see me building dinosaur habitats, maybe you want to see me build my house in a digital game for whatever reason actually to plan and honestly no matter whom we talk to uh, whether it's going to be it's, it's been the um, sanitary guy who's going to do like or the plumber it's the actual word for it um, or if we talk to the kitchen guy who sold the kitchen or even the planner in uh, you know uh, one of these DIY shops they were all like oh my god that's, that's so helpful that's so so helpful because they had such a better idea and we spent way less time in there uh, because they had all the you know all the data all the values everything they needed to know they saw exactly how we wanted to put things and obviously they always have like insights that I don't have and then you know I can arrange certain things and go home and change a couple of things and uh, one of the key features that I used to use or like uh, what helps a lot while building this is um, obviously a modular building and uh, I'm going to make like a video about modular building itself because modular building is uh, a certain thing that every single one of you watching this video right now yes i'm talking about you in front of that screen no matter of big small screen whatever you're watching on modular building is the key to success in these type of games no matter if it's planet coast or planet zoo prehistoric kingdom the sims whatever type of game in which you can build with pieces um or with individual pieces i should say uh modular building is the absolute key to be efficient and successful and i'm not speaking about modular building that it is existing i'm speaking about the fact how you are using it um i can just have like a little brief excursion so to say uh, to to tell you very briefly what it, this is all about so it is mostly about the fact that when you're building like things like that um you want to create as many prefabs and as as many um uh, prefabricated modules that you can reuse and change afterwards um, as you can imagine because the more you have the more you do the more easy it is later on to reuse them and you have to in your mind you have to um, take your vision that you have and then kind of deconstruct that vision in your head into pieces that you will necessarily use to construct whatever is in your head, uh, at least in terms of modules. And you don't need to go into the individual assets, but modules is really important. And then you got to build this. And as you can see over here, I'm building, uh, well, the toilet seat. <laughs> that's, that's basically what I'm building over here. Um, this is something I'm not using uh, modules for because that's one module in itself. But what you obviously can do with this thing obviously is that you can take that and then if you want to do like another toilet you can use this toilet the important thing is that this toilet piece itself has to be an individual building and this is the key thing that 90% of the people do wrong they build in the right way but then put it all into one building and later on and have to just kind of single select the pieces and you know it's, it's almost impossible to do that and so you want to deconstruct that also in terms of what type of buildings you want to use and you know one word gives the other and then you understand how modular building uh, should be used yeah definitely doing a video on that um and also you know to to give you guys an idea how to be um, efficient in these types of game while still being very creative in your own way so that said you can see we are just putting down a couple uh, pieces um, more making our wonderful um and kind of uh, what's that mirror a mirror cupboard thingy um, which is exactly the same that we already have so we've just bought the same pieces that we have in our current flat because we love them the quality is great it looks good so why change i guess a couple smaller things we do differently but 
that's about it. Um, I think the biggest change is going to be the tiles, which we are going to change together in real time in a couple minutes. So if you are in for some real time building, I'm going to do that in a couple minutes with you guys in the real time part. And you can also see how the game is more stable and just works really well. But yeah, I promise you guys, if you stick with me until this point, we are briefly talking about the move and just in general. Some of you may have already heard about this, but a lot of you may not have heard about this because I haven't talked about this in a couple of months because things just needed time. Uh, I made a video about this new house, I think half a year ago, and then a video about the kitchen and that's that. Uh, since then I didn't do an update and so for those of you who are interested and most likely you guys are because you managed to be in here past the 10 minute mark of a voiceover which is uh, kudos to you which is great. Hello, hello, hello. If you haven't clicked that red sub button you should do now because you're great. Uh, okay, enough of that. Um, we bought that house half a year ago um, on you know, uh, on making sure that we move in March. So we have a little bit of time in between to organize things. And the reason why we bought it is, well, 90% down to our kid, obviously. We are, you know, moving back a lot closer to our families, making sure that grandma and grandpa are a lot closer. And um, eventually, or not eventually, but uh, efficient, not effectively, that's the word I think I wanted to use, um, uh, closer to our friends, which is funny because a couple years ago, we moved here to be closer to our friends and work. And now our friends all moved back into our more well, actual uh, area where we lived before. And now we moved back as well. And so all our friends are back there. So that's also kind of uh, convenient. And just in general, in Germany is a huge hype that people go back to the countryside because you can't afford cities anymore. And uh, truth to be spoken, we wouldn't be able to buy a house over here uh, close to Dusseldorf. That is just way too expensive. And so we have to move further back from the city. Uh, so that's a bit more driving for me in the future, but that's all good because we have a very good work from home regulation. So that's all good. Um, and this is the reason why we bought a house to have like a bigger garden and stuff. And I definitely want to showcase this a bit more in the future. We will have a brief overview at the end of the video um, of the house, but <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple more things as well in the future. And uh, you guys might be interested in that or not, but um, I'm going to do this. And for those of you who are interested, you can watch the videos. For those of you who don't, well, you can watch all the other videos or just don't watch the videos, I guess. But if you're still listening to this point in time, I guess something about this video click with you. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this. Now, in a couple of seconds, we're moving over to the real time Rudy. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy that real time part as well. Um, I'm going to hand you over now. Have a lovely time with that real time camel. And I talk to you in a couple of seconds again. See you after the cut. All right, we are in the real-time part. As you can see, things are a little bit different than it was in the voiceover. So first of all, the reason why this is, is we are in the 1.1 update. Um, they did a very, very neat graphic overhaul. Things are a lot more crisp and clear. The lighting is much better. The flickering has gone quite a bit. And obviously we've got a lot of new pieces. And this is why, as you can see, the tiles from the ground and the walls are gone. And uh, this is something we're going to change together now. So you can see how I'm actually using this because many people always ask to show things in real time as well and I thought you know what um, instead of just only doing the showcase today we're going to do this and we are doing this by also showing off one of the new pieces um, so what we're gonna do this is my ruler over here uh, we're gonna just uh, you know take one of these things and then we go into here because in here there is one piece I want to utilize and that is uh, the brick uh, pillar brick arid one so this is the piece as you can see and the reason why we're going to use this is because it has a wonderful texture that comes really close to one of our tiles like obviously the broken bit in it is really not the best oh uh, well you know we, we're just going to use it because it really does look the most like it and we're going to change the color to yeah it's it's kind of hard to tell i think it's somewhat like that but very grayish like so I think that is the color. I mean, we can adjust that later. It's not like too big of a deal. Um, so that's that. And yeah, it's really looking cool. Um, let me just also do the rotation angle. Snap 90 is fine. Let me see if there is a better angle. That's the angle I want to use, I guess. Yeah, I think this is fine. Or is there even better one? Oh, maybe this one? Oh, we can actually, you know what? We are going to change them. This is, this is good. We're going to change them, but we are going to utilize the sizing tool. So first of all, we're going to make it like this. And then hopefully I... The, uh, maybe that was not the smartest idea ever. Let me just see. Uh, wait. 
Okay, I can't undo the... That's interesting. I can't undo the uh, change of... Uh, okay, well, that's interesting. N never mind. We are just going to use one again, like so. I'm going to have to get this out of the building anyways. So split from group. And now we are our own group. Awesome. So first of all, I think I want to use... This is this is the side that I like. How about the underside now? So I, I'm gonna use this side and not that one, but that one. Okay, so I'm gonna use these two. That's fine. So in order to make it right, we're just going to do this rotation and this rotation because we have to use the same um, size that I have in my actual flat with the tiles. So what we're gonna do, we're just going to size them accordingly. So as you can see, this is the way how I use the ruler. Now this is one meter, uh, two meters and so on and so forth. And this uh, tile is one meter and 20 long. So we gotta use these down here. So I'm gonna position that in the middle because it's one meter. And then we're gonna scale that out somewhat like so awesome and now we're gonna rotate the whole thing because it's 60 wide and we're gonna actually do the same with 60 wide as you can see it's 50 wide at the moment so we're gonna position that in somewhat in the middle here as well oh no it's actually we can just book that here and then like so there you go awesome I'm gonna drag that out and we're gonna make this look like oops um, actually the texture is kind of rough in this lighting. I hope it's gonna be less rough. Uh, I'm gonna make this like a, like so, and a lot brighter. There you go, okay. Now what we're gonna do with this is, we're gonna bring this to the wall right away. Um, let me just uncheck that and go over here. And now we gotta bring this to the wall because this tile is gonna go to our onto our walls. And the other one I'm going to show you in a minute. Not sure if we can use the same one. Hello, can you just rotate? Why is it not rotating? Hello? Am I stupid? Rotation on 90 degrees. How about, how can I not rotate this thing? Oh, because it's not, ah, I'm not in the building, that's why. Yeah, no, that is my stupidity. Okay, well, I'm gonna make like a little bit of a break until we've positioned them all to the wall. All right, so that's that, and it actually looks quite a lot better, um, as you can tell from over here. Um, by the way, don't worry, it's not gonna be like uh, this beige-ish color. I'm not sure, I, I made it all white, but it doesn't really appear white. So it's a normal white kind of bathtub. Uh, I can make it better, but uh, at this point, uh, we have already planned everything, so I don't need to do that much. However, we are almost almost there, as you can tell. And one of the coolest things is uh, that we have this wonderful tile now. By the way, I changed the piece. It's the same It's the same material, but I, I got back to a normal building piece, simply because the edges were getting too jiggery with uh, the other one. Um, but we can actually use the same size over here without making our life too complicated, because we have the same size for the other piece. However, I think I need to change the material a little bit. Um, we're going to bring them down to the ground. There you go. Uh, somewhat like this. And um, what we got to do with those is we have a very, very dark, like, um, anthracite kind of color. I think this is really much how it is. I'm not sure if this is all more leaning to the bluish side of things. I think that's a lot better, actually, to... Uh, yeah, something like this really ties in with what we have. And what we got to do is we're going to bring this thing in exactly where it should be. I'm just going to rotate this one so we have the right side and go from the right angle. So we're going to start over here on this side, making sure to go all the way to the wall. There you go. And then we can also uh, put them in uh, like this leaving like a little bit of a, of a piece in between, making sure to split those two from the group. So we have two different groups and then we are going to put them all in as they're supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> fun fact over here, this is something I had a little bit of a debate with uh, my wife about this. Um, if these tiles are too big potentially. And I got, you know, I got a point uh, when I said like that this is also because she doesn't want to have all these uh, uh, things in between. I have forgotten how this is in English, but this little uh, bit in between, she found them all ugly and stuff. And so obviously you have less of those, um, but you will see in a second that the overall look and feel is quite nice because you can put them really nicely in and you have a very, um, a very cool uh, area in the middle. Uh, that over here features one, two, three, four, like quite a lot of uh, full tiles and then just like a tiny, tiny bit of extra tiles here and there. So overall, I think it's a very good way of doing it. Um, and then you have like a couple of pieces uh, on the sides, which most of them are not really 
super visual, uh, visible, so it's not really that big of a deal anyways. And, uh, you know, you can drag them all in where you want to. Uh, I'm just gonna make this one shorter, so that's how it would be in real life anyways, like cut. Uh, oh yeah, that's like a little bit too much cut. So let's drag it out a bit more. So we have that one over here, someone like so. And then over here we have to be a little bit more tricky. Uh, we have to kind of bring this one over. And then, yeah, the problem is that I can't really cut it out as it is supposed to be. Um, so I have to be a little bit more careful in terms of scaling it like this. Uh, we're gonna have to raise the whole ground anyways. Um, let me just quickly raise the ground so we have to overlap over here there you go uh, because obviously this is sink sunken down into the ground uh, then this one is a tiny fraction too big so let's bring that over as well like this and this one's a bit more tricky now because whoops uh, that was one too much one click too much there you go copy that and bring this over bring the action do, 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 do. yeah so the problem is that obviously I have to scale this into the corner now and then the texture is not going to be looking super connected but for the, for the sake of what we're doing over here i think the idea is clear uh so i'll bring this in something like this should be fine and then we just copy that one over uh to finish off the job <coughs> sorry my voice is still not fully recovered there you go and this is the actual bathroom how it looks and i think this this gives the whole bathroom a lot more like um how, how to call it? it it looks a lot more um enjoyable and balanced this way with like a huge tiles it really gets in and one thing we haven't really decided on is how we're going to make uh, this wall look so um potentially it's going to be a different color so maybe like a white-ish grayish version but even though then we are missing out on the color uh, like touch in here so maybe it's gonna stay greenish who knows but we are also looking into something other like um there are some real cool textures in here let me just check that out real quick um that could actually go into the bathroom as well wait where were they there were uh, there you go um there were some really cool like this for example over here as you can tell um is kind of cool and you can obviously let me just create something so we can have uh, these things in yeah let's yeah we're, we're gonna make this a bit smaller then uh so let's use all of those and then just like this oops that was maybe a little bit too ambitious there you go put them above each other blah 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 like so okay cool select them all and oh look at that there are even some different oh my oh my god that is so cool and i can no, obviously I can't change the color of this, but I can change the color of that, right? Oh, but it's just like the center color. Okay, never mind then. But you know, oh no, I can't. There are all of these. Oh, look at that! This is so cool. So I can even go in and say like, okay, this one has to go like a bit more on the turkeys kind of set of things, and that darkish is going to be really a lot more like this. I don't know. You know, you can do whatever you want with it, but you get the idea, I guess. Um, is that like one piece only? Yeah, great. Can I just rotate this into a way that it does fit the wall? We doesn't have to be, make it like exactly where it goes, but just like so that it overlaps a little. And yeah, just click it in because we have to anyways, just scale it down and something like this should be fine. See like that. You get the idea. You can do whatever you want. We technically will never get this, but oh my God, it looks good. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It's not really what I want, but uh, the, the fact you can do it rather quickly in this game is just really cool. Anyhow, that's that. We are somewhat back in uh, Prehistoric Kingdom. We will be back quite a bit more. Uh, don't worry. Um, there is a lot more coming, and I'm really looking forward to that. Not gonna lie. This is a lot of fun planning our house, and just to showcase this, our house. This is our house. For those of you who haven't seen, there are a couple more episodes on the channel with uh, how I built this. There's also like an actual kitchen in already. Um... Some things have changed, but the actual kitchen is looking pretty similar to what I have built over here. So uh, kudos to me. I uh, seem to have had a good feeling about how it goes. Um, but I have definitely to, you know, change a couple of things. These tiles are obviously the wrong ones because they are the same tiles as these ones over here. It's going to be looking really cool and I'm looking a lot forward to our new house. Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, time lapse and uh, real-time build. We can actually also, by the way, um, this is 
just bringing back the action from uh, the upper layer. Let me just do it that way. There you go. Now you have the full room. And that's it. I really do like it. I really, really do like it. We can also use the uh, interface lock. There you go. Look at this. Really cool. Really, really brilliant. Not sure what the sun is doing over here. This is obviously not correct. Oh, you can also have what's really cool at nighttime. I'm not sure if uh, some of these things were emissive or not, but we can go into nighttime mode. There you go. I think especially interiors are easier to showcase at nighttime, as you can tell, but it does lack a lot of the colors. Um, so it's definitely different between those two in, in terms of brightness, but uh, the you know spots are really blowing in here but yeah just in general i love the way how it looks i love the way how it works and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this episode too if you did so um just check out my channel if you want to see more and you know you can also subscribe to help me out grow and whatever uh, is going on in your new year i wish you guys a happy new year a healthy new year stay safe until the next one and goodbye